I know, Mike. <laughs> I made an announcement because I didn't want to get ripped off, you know? And I'm thinking if they know that I'm a good customer of Mike's, a great customer of Mike's, even though he only did one job for me, basically. He changed my oil and put in an inspection sticker on. But I talked to him about buying a beach Jeep, so I feel like I know Mike pretty well. So I announced to the new guy, because Mike can't fix my AC, I go, I know Mike. Oh, Mike's a really, really good guy. We share customers. I'm like, all right, I'm in good hands. They fixed my AC, but on the way out, I was like, where's Jimbo? Because I was supposed to uh, uh, say hi to Jimbo at the new place, because Jimbo used to work for Mike. And uh, as I'm paying the $400 for my AC, I go, are you Jimbo? He goes, no, man, Jimbo's in a wheelchair. I'm like, well, God damn. And then the, the owner of the place, really, really cool, tells me this horrific story about Jimbo was in a horrific car accident uh, about eight years ago on New Year's Eve. I'm like, I, this, I, I just want to pay for my car. Jimbo wanted to go to a party in Queens, and he went to a party in Queens, and then he was coming back out east on Long Island with his brother-in-law, his wife, and his uh, his new child all buckled up nice in a, in a car seat. Jimbo had no alcohol in his system. And all of a sudden on the LIE, uh, Jimbo was tapped. He says tapped. It sounds like it was way more than a tap. He was tapped from behind on the Long Island Expressway. And uh, that flipped Jimbo's car. And long story short, uh, the brother-in-law died. Jimbo's uh, paralyzed from the waist down. And his wife and kid are perfectly fine eight years later. And I'm like, can I just pay for my car? <laughs> oh, my God. And then the guy brags that Jimbo is an amazing mechanic with an amazing mind. And uh, we decided not to get rid of him. And he pretty much does his job from a wheelchair. And I'm like, oh, my God, that's, that's an amazing, horrific story, sir. And then he goes, uh, but Jimbo's doing well. He says the technology sucks. They're, bu they're building skeleton suits. And people that are paralyzed are starting to walk around a little bit. They got the technology, so we're telling Jimbo to hang in there. And I'm like, well, that's a nice thing to, to tell good old Jimbo. And then uh, he goes, you know, Jimbo's dick still works. I'm like, I didn't need to know that. And he goes, and Jimbo's starting to grow hair on his legs. And the doctors can't uh, explain that. And then I'm thinking to myself, I didn't know if you were paralyzed from the waist down that you can't grow hair on your legs anymore. That's all I'm thinking. So there's hope that uh, maybe something's going on with Jimbo's legs. And then Jimbo says that he gets sensation in his legs every once in a while. I'm like, well, God damn, I got to meet this Jimbo. So then when I, uh, after I paid the $400 for the AC, I went in the back and I found uh, the one guy in a wheelchair looking up uh, at somebody's car. And I said, uh, are you Jimbo? Because I didn't want to be rude. Obviously it was Jimbo. He goes, yes, I'm Jimbo. And I, I uh, introduced myself and I said, Mike sent me. He goes, it's a pleasure to meet you. And I go, it's a pleasure to meet you, my friend. And uh, as I was walking up to him, he's just laughing and carrying on and having the time of his life as he was fixing someone's car. And I'm like, God, look at this guy's attitude. I love it. So I, I, I went home with brand new AC in my car with a little step in my, uh, in my, uh, in my, uh, in my, a little step in my what? What's the fucking saying? What is the saying? A little step in my, no, isn't it a little, a little... Uh, what's the saying? A little pep in my step? I think I wanted to say a little pep in my step, right? So, uh, I don't know, man. I guess people like to offer up all sorts of uh, info for you. Um, I, I wasn't expecting to hear that story from uh, from uh, just getting my AC uh, repaired. But, uh, you know, it's a lesson for all of us. And I've said that for many, many years, that uh, a little spring in your step. Now you guys going to correct me now Now that it's too late. I needed the help a minute or two ago as I was a stammering fool on this live stream. Yeah, man, it was, uh, it was a horrific story, but it reminds me that absolutely New Year's Eve is amateur night. And, uh, you know, you shouldn't be out there on the roadways.